have you ever done? It's almost what... The first part of the end of a takeover ceremony this morning was witnessed by the senior officers of the provincial administration and the district authorities. The outgoing acting provincial administrator, Sheila Harou, who served in his position for 21 months, officially handed over the administrative duties to the new provincial administrator, Barty Pambonch. Mr. Pambonch says his administration will focus on rehabilitating the province and district administrations. My aim and my objective is to see the villages and to find out how many wards are there in the villages, in the LLGs. We are, th these are the marginalized people that we are going to find. How are they living? What kind of status are they in? What is the opportunity to stay? The second part of the program was witnessed by the public in front of the Tutumang House, where Ms. Harou handed over the keys to the provincial administrator. I will revert back to my deputy administrator position. That is my substantive. I am still a senior public servant of this province. The appointment of Ipambonch as Morbe's new permanent provincial administrator is the first after three years. Ipambonch has served in Morbe for almost 34 years. The provincial administrator says he will make sure the LLG and district officers visit the wards and villages in the nine districts of the province and deliver services to them. I know your responsibilities. And basically I will be counting on those responsibilities to see that you are actually doing. And my compliance team will find out, are you really doing the job based on your KSL areas? And the money that you ask for, I will release. And I will follow that money down to find out whether the money is reaching based on your KSL areas. Or are you meeting what is expected? And my expectation is still to meet the villages, the, the works. Over the past years, the Morbe Provincial Administration has been facing challenges with its operations due to insufficient funds. Mr. Ipambonch says his administration will have a mechanism in place between now and December to help design a real provincial budget for 2019. The 2019 budget will be aligned to the planning system. There will be no cut and paste and then there will be no shopping list. I also mentioned to the governor, governor, if you want to deliver, this is what we want to do. Uh, your shopping list will be screened, will be checked. Mm. And I will tell you, this is the, this is the, uh, <coughs> the projects or activities that we are going to deliver, and the budget will have to be aligned to this. Mm. And I want to make sure that the planning office is elevated to make sure that they coordinate the budget. Julie Badui Owa, National MTV News, Lake.